Why do we need to produce ketones and what is the difference between burning fat or beta oxidation and ketone production? And this is, this is what happens. So fatty acids will typically enter the cell or the mitochondria through the carnitine palmitol transferase 1 and 2. And this will enter beta oxidation and create acetyl-CoA. If you don't understand this, it doesn't matter because I'm going to super simplify this. Acetyl-CoA will then enter the citric acid cycle and this will go on to the electron transport chain where we create ATP or energy. Now, in a state, and this happens in everyone, we all, we all perform beta oxidation. But when we reduce carbohydrate, now I'm going to drop a bombshell that some of you may not be aware of, we do need glucose. We cannot live without glucose. But we don't need any dietary glucose. The body makes all of the glucose it needs through a process called gluconeogenesis. Gluco being glucose, neo, new, and genesis, the creation of. Now, in order to do this, we remove a compound from the citric acid cycle, and that's oxaloacetate. Oxaloacetate allows us to create the glucose so we can survive. There are certain cells within the body that need glucose, a red blood cell and glutaminergic neurotransmitters in the brain. So we do need glucose, but we do not need any dietary glucose. So now that we've, we've used this oxaloacetate in the citric acid cycle, the citric acid cycle can no longer spin. It stops turning. So this leads to a build-up, and this is why I've coloured the two into a, a, a different colour. The acetyl-CoA builds up, and then it enters acetoacetyl-CoA, and then HMG-CoA. HMG-CoA then produces our ketones. Acetoacetate, acetone, and beta-hydroxybutyrate. Acetone quite often is wasted in the breath, in the urine, so on and so forth. Beta-hydroxybutyrate supplies this clean and pure energy. And this is, this is the goal of anybody looking to become ketogenic. Now, if you notice, Zoe mentioned the mavalinate pathway, which I've, I've indicated on the bottom there. So HDMI-CoA uh, is a part just before the mavalinate pathway, before we go on to produce cholesterol. And as Zoe mentioned, cholesterol is essential. We need it. It goes on to create coenzyme Q10, or ubiquinone, which we need, we need for life. In fact, ubiquinone creates the pyrimidines that build up the DNA basis. So at the deepest level, within our chromosomes, we need these compounds, and to take statins would be detrimental to this.